Hey everyone, Sev here with some more Dice Dungeons. Our last elimination round is the Robot. So let's give this a go, as usual, for elimination. Enemies get 10% more life, and all their equipment is upgraded. Some of them that really makes a difference, others it makes it very oppressive. Okay, so against the Magician first. Get my start off on, immediately arrow. He now hits for seven. Doesn't take too many bad turns for that to catch up. Easy enough. What do we got? Cheat code. Oh, well, that's very situational. I wish I had something to actually put the sixes into, but I do not. And he always gets to two poison. So we got our, our roll now. Going to cheat code. Hey, we got it. Look at shot in a again. Next floor. Alright, so we have Pirate, Stereo, and our little Squid Baby. So unfortunately, little Squid, you're first, because you have the chest. And in this one, you can actually do a good chunk of damage. A 6 plus 1, that's 7 damage a turn. Same as the Magician. Okay. Well, let's hit the auto roll. Five, four, shot. He's gonna come. He may not get all the way, but he's gonna do a good chunk of damage. For it's gonna be mostly four. That was four, five. That's a five. Okay, there's more blind dice. That's not too big of a deal. Oh, that's a six. Okay. We hit the jackpot. Easy enough. Of course, it's going to give it to us now. It's going to take it all later. So we're up four items. There, increase our jackpot. So we have, we don't have anything else to do with these ones. He has to get a six, or he's not going to use his little pirate hook. Because three, because three plus two, it's still five. I guess we're not allowed decent rules. Uh, auto roll. So, mechanical. And we want to take enough damage so that we get our auto roll back. Got it. So let's hit the fire, get our R roll back, and head to the next combat. And Buzz of Swords allows you to keep rolling and save it, because it'll always be there. I will do that this time. We've done Ultimate Weapon, I think, every other time. Let's see here. We have one space available. Juggle Ball's a, it's a two, so no. So Circuit sure requires four dice. Unfortunately, the dice from rerolling from Bump Blade and other things don't count. The Bump Blade's good. So we'll take that at least. We might take the Short Circuit and put it in Mechanical Arms place. 
It's okay, so we can keep rolling. She killed me. Alright, we're gonna bump it. Mechanical arm. Well, we got it, I guess. Blast and Buster. Our damage. We get auto rolls enough because of taking damage. It shouldn't really be an issue to hit him. We're gonna need one more damage. Did I, did I count wrong? No, I count right. We needed six. The Buster Sword gave us the four to five. With the one damage from Buster and the five in Plasma, we had it. Then, I think I might want to get rid of Mechanical Arm. Or ray gun to put short circuit in. Win, win harder. Let's take the ray gun out. We have plenty of places to put the dice now. Okay, we're full life. Bully first. He can kill us. Just straight out. We'll put that one into cheat code. Then roll another dice. And a, and a six. Pleasantly surprised. So, what stats do we give him? Curse is so good. Okay, so. I'm gonna throw Buster Sword in. Bump Blade the four. Throw it in the cat for a five. Please take out a fist. And he has some place to rock on it. That's great. Okay. Just gonna auto roll. Then roll another dice. Six into Buster. Gonna bump the pool. And the status. Throws it. So long as rolls won't be absolutely crap. Plasma, mechanical. Sucks we're one off. We're still gonna eat eight damage. Think of that. Two ones, eat eight. It's crazy. We don't have any form of recovery, so I'm just gonna. Well, I should just roll to the end and then just put in Buster to finish. Possible misplay, but not likely. We got here. We already tossed a ray gun. We don't want another. So we're going to level up. We need to have an apple going into cactus. The thorns from them hurt so much. It's a... It's two. On average, she gets four thorns. Plus, if he rolls a six. That's 10 damage he hits us with, and then 4 damage for every hit we attempt. How cheesy do I want to be with this? So I could put it here and get that. But that's not good news. Well, okay. One more roll. Buster, get the short circuit. And a curse. We may take no damage. Well, that's dandy. Alright, plasma. Overdid it. And the Buster, that's where it's good. It just lets us try for it, no matter what. We're gonna hold on to this use in the next fight if we have to. Bump, plasma, buster. We didn't need the apple. RNG's on our side. Knock on wood. Okay. 
Okay. So for upgrades, two more on the Buster. That's guaranteed two damage no matter what. Cheat code actually has been helping quite a bit. Two uses the Bump Blade. Extra one damage, but sets us up for anything. Mechanicals anything. Plasma. It's just one more. Sword Circuit becomes a guaranteed as well, though. What's at the store? Midnight Charm for two sixes. Healing Crystal and a shield. So one six, two six. But we'd have we'd have a midnight charm. Then we'd have to slot in. So we take out cheat code, put midnight charm in. As just a dump, we'd upgrade the short circuit to guarantee. Because the rules from the midnight aren't going to trigger it. Let's get short circuit upgraded. It's not additional damage, but the statuses can be worth just as much or more than two damage. Alright, auto roll up. We got the plasma. We got all this. We can bump that up. Plasma, bump like that up for mechanical. At least you don't matter. Shock's alright. But makes her waste dice. I say that she uses the one to get rid of it. Don't want more ones. So it's plasma, bump blade, take the mechanical arm. So, important note bump blade plus mechanical arm makes anyone that freezes all of our dice or a lot of dice exceptionally easy. So let's go ahead and get the midnight charm. Sorry, cheat code, you were kind of nice. But having two sixes is way better. Uh, and we finish on a rotten apple. Okay, vacuum. So, there. Short circuit. We gotta burn. I didn't throw in Buster. I was thinking ultimate weapon. Or ultimate weapon. I swear if we lose this floor, because that that's gonna be so sad. Two, uh, three, another two. Okay, so it's mechanical arm. One, two, plus three, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> well, if it, if it insists, come, oh. wow, let's go ahead and bump away. And he can heal up to six, which he's going to heal for six, which is why we hit him. We'll make sure that we can finish. Okay, so let's heal. We are actually hitting that jackpot more than we should. Yay! 
Better lucky than skilled, I guess. Kinda. Uh, Rhino Beetle. You can hit pretty good. We just don't want our dice, our dice locked out from him. Bump. Short circuit. Plasma. I almost wonder what happens if I hit auto roll now, but I don't think it'd work. For science. Hey, we still get it. They're just looking shot. So if he rolls a four, we get our jackpot back already. Okay. Plasma. Bump. Short circuit. We threw a curse on him. So this is the midnight charm. The midnight charm isn't seeming too useful unless we get a bunch of monsters dump into it. As I was saying. So it's short circuit. Dump the two. Water, man. Okay. We should probably take out the Midnight Charm. Until we get that upgrade, we're just not going to activate it. And put Cheat Code back in. Uh, no. I like my Plasma Blaster. Watch an apple. Alright, buddy. Got a weekend. I'm just gonna throw it in the It's worth more like that. So, Robin Ford does the same no matter what. This is great. So, mechanical, bump into the six, the bus, and the shot. And we unlock the six. I want him to get us to our auto roll before we go to the next floor. There we go. Heat sand for infinite. Uh, we'll take increment. I don't plan to really use it either way. Four before the boss. We have Skelly, Crack, Chrysalia, and Cowboy. That is a lot of stacked damage. Yeah, I'm gonna put Chico in. Just throw whatever dice there. Actually, does he need twos? He needs a one or a two. Roll another one. Okay. Short circuit. Oh! And we locked one of his dice. Put two in the mechanical. Bump blade and we'll counter force. 
Alright, well there's no way we can get the one off. But he doesn't hit us. There's a curse. Short circuit. Plasma. Counter spell. I ain't got twos this time. But we weaken. Short circuit coming in clutch. Counter twos. Short circuit. Bump off just lucky shot. Here. We roll, we might not, not be able to use it. I swore I had locked the ones, and he is able to put a one in. Oh well, I'm gonna go to sleep here in a bit anyway, so whatever. I guess we're gonna do the Kraken next. We wanna put evens in the counter spell this time, so that's what we really care about. Alright, so short circuit. No, that's not bad. So that's one. That's a two. I'm still waiting for that to go off. As a six. There it goes. Nice lock. Yeah, it'd be really nice if we perfected the crack. Simply from being this annoying. We have a curse to go through. Uh, it went through. Immune to errors, but not the curse. Unfortunate. This again, we want to eat three damage. Right, well, there's curse. Short circuit. Curse back. That's five. Curse. Darn it! Okay, we don't take damage though. So it's a free turn. We got this now. Took a little bit. Upgrade right now. Let's see if we get anything interesting from these two. Uh, we want to do the cowboy first, and that's because he, he's guarding the apple and he's going to do damage. <laughs> the 
What? How'd that come back as a locked dice? That's that's real buggy right there. Hey, now that made sense. There's a bump or two there. Four in the plasma, short circuit. Yeah, I'm going to lock the ones. This one costs three. Something happened. That's really question stuff. Just rocking it on this last floor. Cowboy brought nothing to the table. Crystalline is the only one that might wreck us. And uh, I guess I'll take increment. There's no one thing Crystal really wants, and if we did get a six, we want to play it. Too much risk reward in a six in it. next turn too. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. And mechanical to finish it off. Besides the witch, the rest of these have been mostly easy. The jester had a little bit, but most of this has just been good. I'm just gonna buy everything. Spatula. The heck with increment. It's like she. This becomes anything but it's a big slot. Spatula. We have midnight. So, midnight. So it gets us sixes for this. Well, for these two. Where would I want to put spatula? Okay, well, I guess I'm just upgrading midnight. Increment, get midnight. And I'm just going to take what I get. We. <laughs> oh no. Not you. I don't know if we can actually last against her. She gets so much defense. Two uses of tower shield, and then a bash with dice plus shield. Okay, so first things first. The midnight charms. Short circuit. Plasma. It's going to auto roll up. Lucky bump. Let's get mechanical and buster. Oh no, that's two sixes. <laughs> that's three sixes. We almost took half our life already. Just auto roll up. 
So we're going to dump two threes in a, into that charm. That's for short circuit and buster sword. Axe plasma. Then we want to turn the one into two with bump blade. Man. We locked the six. Good. Ah, oh, you still hurt. Okay. So, we got the two sixes. Short circuit. Bump blade that up. Five in the plasma. Mechanical. Buster. Alright, well, we did it. We had a really good setup. Yes, we were persistent. I went 24 rounds on the witch. I think that counts for persistence. Yes, another loss. Well, that is the last of the elimination rounds. Starting tomorrow, we get to go through the parallel universes. And those are fun and interesting. Anyway, this has been Sev on Dicey Dungeons. If you want to see more from our channel, subscribe. Please like the video. And comment down below with your favorite dad joke. Until next time.